Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 in module 3 we are doing the last lesson of the module. That's lesson 16 and we are exploring part to whole relationships in tonight's homework. Tonight's homework is a little unusual. It's only got a few problems there. I think there's only about four parts of one problem. So I'm only just going to do one part with you. Um, and then I think that should give you enough information to solve the others. And I want to take a step back because I think you actually know more than you think you know when you approach problems like this. They're asking us to draw the following roads. The instructions for 1A are one road. The piece shown below is only three-sevenths of the whole. Complete the drawing to show the whole road. And they tell you here that we've got three-sevenths. And i got to tell you, I'm going to do a separate drawing here. If I told you to do a tape diagram of three apples, you know, you guys would have no trouble. You'd go bop, 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 right? Apple, apple, apple. Done. And if I told you to do a tape diagram of three bananas, you'd have no trouble. Banana, 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 right? No trouble. So why is it any different with sevenths? Okay, sevenths are an unusual unit, but you know how to handle units. Three-sevenths of a whole, if this is what three-sevenths looks like, then all you do is this, right? There they are. There's one-seventh, two-sevenths, three-sevenths. One, two, three. Each of those is three seventh, is a seventh. So if this is three-sevenths of the whole, well, let's see. There must be seven pieces that make up the whole road. The road must go from about here to about here because there must be another, a fourth-seventh, a fifth seventh, a sixth seventh, and a seventh seventh, right? That would make this chunk three sevenths of the whole. This is the whole. I'll draw it right here. There's the whole. And each of these is one seventh. One seventh, one seventh. And that's it. You can do the same process here down here for 1B. And the other problems in C and D uh, deal with similar, similar relationships between whole parts, holes and parts, parts and holes. But you know a great deal, because if I gave you this problem with slightly different units, apples or bananas, you'd have no trouble doing these diagrams. So don't let it throw you that the units here are a little unusual. They're sevenths instead of apples instead of bananas. You know a lot of information. If this is three sevenths, you know that this is a tape diagram with three parts. One, two, three. And in fact, you know what each of those parts is because you know that you have three of them. Three, in this case, sevenths. One seventh, two sevenths, three sevenths. And that allows you to draw the rest of the diagram. So thanks for joining me for this last episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems in Module 3. Hope to see you again in Module 4. Take care.